Hello and welcome in the instruction manual video about the XP and the Rise sequence and the finisher. The XP and the Rise sequence consists of a hand file in the size of ISO 10, 2% taper, the XP and the Rise glider, and the XP and the Rise shaper. We will also use the finisher. The video is divided into two parts. The first one will present the use of all files on an artificial tooth. Then we will see a clinical case treated with the use of the XP and the Rise sequence and the finisher. Let's go to the first part. All files are ready for use. We have got our endodontic motor and the artificial tooth is placed in a vise. All rotary files presented today are meant to be used at the speed of 1000 rpm and the torque of 1 newton centimeter. In the beginning, we need to create the glide path with the use of a hand file in the size of ISO 10 2% taper. The same in the second canal. Remember that in narrow and curved canals, the pre-bending of the tip of a file is strongly recommended to avoid ledges. Irrigation is an integral part of every non-surgical endodontic treatment. Having the initial glide path created, we can proceed to the XP and the Rise glider to create more space. Remember to use gentle strokes of 2 to 3 mm and after 3 to 4 strokes remove the file from the canal. If the working length was not reached, clean the file and repeat. The same in the second canal. Especially in narrow canals, recapitulation with a hand file will help to avoid clogging of the canal with debris. After reaching the working length in both canals, we can irrigate thoroughly as well as recapitulate both canals with a hand file. Now we are ready to use the XP and the Rice Shaper. Insert the tip of the XP and the Rice Shaper into the canal until resistance. Retract a little and start the motor. Eight long, gentle strokes should be used to get to the working length and shape the canal. If not, stop, irrigate, recapitulate with a hand file and proceed again. Irrigation is a must after instrumentation. Notice the debris accumulating in the apical part where the tip of the needle cannot be placed.
break a bit late with a hand file to avoid clogging. Now we can implement the same protocol in the second canal. Let's have a closer look of the root canal system that we just instrumented. The space is nicely shaped, but it is not clean enough to proceed to obturation. That is why we will use the finisher. Insert the file pointing towards the cusp and start the motor. Use long, gentle strokes of 7 to 8 mm for 1 minute to clean the entire canal adequately. Notice fluid movement in the second canal thanks to cleansing of the isthmus. Irrigate both canals to remove debris. And the same in the second canal. Again, notice fluid movement in the canal that connects via the isthmus. Now we can proceed to the final rings. When the shaping and cleaning are done, we can dry the root canal system with paper points. The XP in the right sequence enables shaping of a canal to a desired size of ISO 30 4% taper. We will obturate with the cold hydraulic condensation technique with the use of the Total Fill BC sealer. Before injecting the bioceramic sealer into the canal system, make sure the good aperture points fit properly. Adjust them if necessary. The total fill BC points are recommended. When the good aperture points fit, the bioceramic sealer is injected to both canals. Notice that thanks to proper cleaning with the finisher, the sealer goes through the isthmus to the second canal. Before inserting a good aperture point in the canal, cover its tip with the sealer to make the obturation adequately dense. The easiest way to do it is to put the good aperture point in the tip unscrewed from the bioceramic sealer syringe. There is sufficient amount of the sealer to do it. Such a good aperture point covered with the bioceramic sealer is ready to be placed inside the canal. Notice tight and dense obturation of the apical part of the root canal system along with the isthmus in the high magnification. Now we are ready to discuss the clinical case. Let's see the clinical implementation of the XP in the rice sequence and the finisher.
The tooth in question is the left upper central incisor with already opened pulp chamber. The patient was referred for root canal treatment. On the CBCT scan we can see quite extensive opening of the pulp chamber, a narrow canal and an apical curve of the canal in the buccal direction. The first step is to remove the temporary filling and clean the pulp chamber. Now we can create the glide path with the hand file in the size of ISO 10 2% taper. Having the glide path established, we can proceed to the XP and the rise glider. Remember that irrigation between all files is a crucial part of every non-surgical endodontic treatment. Using the XP and the rise glider, remember about gentle strokes of 2 to 3 mm to reach their working length. Recapitulate to check the working length and to avoid clogging. Now we are ready to use the XP and the Rice Shaper. Remember that 8 long gentle strokes should be used. Recapitulate again. Now we can use the finisher to clean the root canal space properly. Remember about long gentle strokes of 7 to 8 mm that should be used for one minute. After final irrigation, we can proceed to the obturation with cold hydraulic condensation technique. Remember to verify the good aperture point used for the obturation. The XP and the rise sequence enables shaping of a canal to a desired size of ISO 30 4% taper. When the good aperture point fits, the total fill BC sealer is injected to the canal. Then, the tip of the Gutapecha point is covered with the bioceramic sealer. And insert it into the canal. The easiest way to remove a part of a cutapercha point that sticks out of a canal is to cut it off with a heat plugger. Then you can press the cutapercha inside the canal with a cold plugger. Remove all excessive amount of the sealer and clean the pulp chamber. Make sure that the canal is filled at the appropriate level of the orifice. The final X-ray confirms appropriate operation of the root canal system.